nikisema kama kanisa na kama tumechukua uongozi nikisema kanisa isiingiane na siasa tena maana tulidanganywa ya kwamba kanisa afta kuchukua hii serikali tutasaidiwa kanisa itawekwa kwa amani lakini kile tumeona ni kanisa kuingia kwa tax mambo mengi ambayo haina eh, mwelekeo kile ningesema ni kwamba kama new bishop ningesema ya kwamba watumishi wa Mungu mahali popote mko msikubali watu wa siasa kuingia kwa madhabahu sababu kuhani ndiye alikuwa akienda kwa rais rahi, alikuwa akija kwa kuhani kama kanisa na kama watu ambao uh, ni watumishi wa Bwana tunakataa siasa katika kanisa namba 2 vibaya sana ni miaka tano na hiyo mambo inaisha so katika katiba yetu inasema five years time watu wanaenda nyumbani sababu wakiongezewa seven years watu saa hii kuna mambo ya taxes kuna mambo mengi sana watu wa KRA wanasuguka kila mahali so kuna ile kitu inakuwa kama mimba na inataka kupasuka kwa hivyo after five years then kuingia miaka ingina miwili hiyo itatumaliza sasa kujiongeza miaka na ni vibaya sana na tunasema ya kwamba hiyo amurati uh, uh, bambao mko nao ni mbaya sana tugeoba ya kwamba mbaki tuna ile miaka ambayo tulikuwa tumewapatia miaka tano na tutapunguza hiyo miaka ikuja miaka tatu maana hata ile miaka tunawapatia miaka tano hakuna chochote tunaona munafanya katika mwananchi kulingana na venye kunaendelea katika hii politics zinaenda baya sana kwa sababu sasa wajiku anabaki kujiuliza maswari kwani yalidanganywa ni nini ambacho alifanya kwa sababu unakuta ya kwamba wajiko hana furaha. Uh, hii mambo ya siasa ime, imepanda sana. Na tukataka kwamba viongozi waipuguze kwa sababu watu wako na hasira ndani yao. Uh, mambo ya mwananchi wa kawaida kuna mambo tatu ambayo ni muhimu sana. Kitu ya kwanza tuna afya. Kitu ya pili tuna education. Hiyo kitu kingine ya tatu ni shelter. Vile tunavyoongea siku ya leo mwananchi wa kawaida ama mwenye tunamuita wajiko siku ya leo ana taabika sana ni kwa sababu anapoenda hospitalini anaambiwa kadi yako haijaingishwa kwenye sha mimi mwenyewe nina kadi ya NHIF ninapoenda katika hospitali ninaambiwa kadi yako haionyeshi kama umesajiliwa kwa hivyo ningeopa serikali kwa unyenyekevu waangalie mwananchi wa kawaida upande wa afya upande wa masomo ya watoto wetu hiyo ingine ni kuangalia wale wa mama ambaye wanaenda kitu inaitwa dialysis dialysis hakuna mtu yote anaweza penda kuwa na ugonjwa unapoenda dialysis unarudishwa nyumbani bila kutibiwa hiyo ni makosa sana kwa hivyo ningeshihi tuachane na siasa mingi tuangalie mwananchi kile tuliwachagua wakafanye kwenye bunge watu and every kenyan is concerned to hear that our leaders want to extend the terms uh, the terms uh, of, of limit they want to remain more in, in parliament i mean whether it's the president or the deputy whether it's the executive or the senator or the members of parliament uh, the time that you have been given by the constitution it is sufficient for you to deliver to the kenyans this constitution was made through the participation of all of us including yourselves we all contributed to the making of this constitution some of us even stopped our work to go around helping receiving of the views and we gave our views we are the people who put what is in the constitution i do not mean that uh, constitution cannot change but it is not in the area or motivated by selfish interests do not talk to us about extending your terms when you have not shown us what you have done during the terms that you have been there conversations that are meant to distract us from the real issues and if this motion is meant to distract us from the the deputy president impeachment then it is a very wrong way of of spending our time engaging us in such kind of con conversations please talk to us about um, issues of national unity show us what you have done show us uh, remember that we are all kenyans and there are many kenyans who who qualify to sit on the seat that you are sitting on.